the helicopter is throwing grenades and all. <laughs> Approximately 800 soldiers of the JDF and 570 officers of the JCF were involved in the operation. The advance of the security forces was slowed and in some instances halted by the ferocity of the resistance. Explosions, gunfire and smoke could be heard and seen over the city. It took until around 4 p.m. on May 24 before the Tivoli Gardens was secured. It was clear that Coke had fled, if he was ever there at the beginning. By the next day, there were reports of hundreds dead. People phoned in to the radio station with reports of brutality, including throwing people off roofs. There was parodic gunfire in other areas of West Kingston over the next few days. By the end of the week, 73 deaths were formally reported. The scale of the operation and its costs in blood and economic value were great and unprecedented in the history of the confrontations between the citizens and the security forces of Jamaica. Two days after the launch of the operation, 69 civilians and three members of the security forces lay dead. The UN Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean estimated the total effect of the unrest on the economy of Jamaica at Jamaican $22.5 billion, that's US $258.8 million. Senior officers of the security forces readily described the operation as an event the like of which they had never before experienced in their many years of service. Equally, residents of West Kingston spoke of a frightening experience and being in a continuing state of fear and anxiety immediately before, during and after the operation. However, Coke managed to escape the dragnet and remained at large for almost a month, until he was finally captured on June 23, 2010, by the police on the outskirts of Kingston. He was reportedly trying to surrender to the United States Embassy, with the help of a local reverend, who was later charged with attempting to pervert the course of justice. Coke was extradited to the United States on June 24, 2010 where he pleaded guilty to racketeering and assault charges, and was sentenced to 23 years in prison in 2012.